Good morning. Today is Saturday, June the 24th. And our lesson this morning is greater victory in death. And we are still talking about Samson this week. Uh, Samson has went through several occasions. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to share those with you this week. But uh, Samson has went through uh, several occasions in where the Lord uh, uh, allowed uh, us to uh, have a, a look back on Samson's vow and what that meant. And that uh, lesson was for Wednesday. And it came from Numbers, the sixth chapter, the first verse through the eighth and the 13th through the 17th verse. It expounded on the vows of a Nazarite of what all it entailed and and it's it is a good uh lesson to read also on thursday's lesson uh samson and the woman of timnath uh that lesson spoke on the woman that samson chose to be his wife and his mother and he went to his mother and father to speak to them and ask them uh what uh, uh i want you to go get her from me to we it and he was respectful in going to his parents. Uh, he did it, that in the correct manner. But his biggest problem was that he chose a Philistine. And they asked him, you know, out of all the women in our country, you know, you can't find one that suits you. But the Bible does speak that the Lord uh, put in his heart to have a desire for someone of another nation. And... It was for to bring about a climax to the total situation of Samson and his uh, work for the Lord. Uh, it was to bring about, to bring closer to climax the, the work that the Lord had for him to do. And on uh, Friday's lesson, Samson's war against the Philistine. Uh, as you read the chapter for uh, uh the lesson, it was uh, coming from Judges 14, 1 through 9, when he talked about the woman of Timnah. Um, but then on Friday's lesson, Samson's war against the Philistine was where Samson didn't get the woman uh, because of uh, the riddle he brought in and due to, and all of that was not included in the lesson, but the riddle he brought in and the fact that she helped him with this riddle, um, Pulled, made him angry with her. And so he went away for a while. And then when he come back to claim his wife, uh, they had given her to someone else. It doesn't say what the time frame was that he had went away. But they gave her to someone else because they thought his father thought that uh, uh, that she was, uh, uh, he wouldn't want her. And so anyway, after the uh fact that he was so distraught that uh, he did not receive his wife, he went out and put foxtails together and tied them together, collected 300 foxes and tied them uh, together uh, by their tail and set their tail on fire and sent them through the uh, Philistines' uh, path of their corn and their uh, 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 means of, of eating. And as he did so, uh, they wanted to know, you know, what, who, who did this? Why did, why did they do this? And they told him that the uh, Timonite, um had gave his wife away. And so he was uh, upset and angry, and this is what he did. And so they went in and killed the father and the mother because of this. And now today our lesson is the greater victory in death. Well, Samson, it doesn't go through the uh, lesson uh, of, of Samson uh, with Delilah, but we are at the point that they have captured Samson. And this is where we are coming from. And this is coming, uh, Samson's greater victory in death is coming from Judges, the uh, 16th chapter, the 13th, the 23rd verse through the 31st. And the scripture lesson text read, Then the lords of the Philistine gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon, their God, and to rejoice. For they said, Our God has delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hand. And when the people saw him, they praised their God. For they said, Our God has delivered into our hands our enemy, and the destroyer of our country, which slew many of us. 
And it came to pass, when their hearts were merry, they, that they said, Call for Samson, that he, may, that, we, that he may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house, and he made them sport. And they set him between the pillars. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, Suffer me that I may feel the pillars whereupon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, and all the lords of the Philistines were there. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women. And this is not count those that's on the inside. This is just those on the roof. It said that hell, that beheld while Samson made sport. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, remember me, I pray thee, and strengthen me, I pray thee, only this once, O God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistine from my two eyes. Because Samson has lost his eyesight. Uh, they have taken his eyesight. They blinded him by this time. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood and on which it was borne up of the one with his right hand and the other with his left. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself, himself with all his might and the house fell upon the Lord's and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Then his brethren and all the house of his father came down and took him and brought him up and buried him between Zorah and Estal in the burying place of Mona, his father. And he judged Israel 20 years. And man, this is a great lesson. First, going back to uh, the 23rd verse, uh, it says, Then the lords of the Philistine gathered themselves together. They were giving praise to their God that they had caught Samson, that they, but they don't realize that their uh where about their abilities was only through uh, trickery and and uh, Samson's weakness uh, for a woman, and this brought about his capture. They wasn't the ones that that did it. It was Samson's neglect in himself, which brought about his uh, capture. And our capture into sin, into destruction into things that bring us down many times the things that we have put into our life we have allowed in our life and it came to pass when the hearts were merry they had gotten uh they had had their they were having their party they had did their drinking and got merry and they now they bring samson out and so they had him led by a child because they knew if they brought a had a man or someone else bring him out that he might do some harm to him. So they uh, sent a child to bring him out. And so as they did this, the Lord, uh, Samson went to the Lord. He uh, prayed to the Lord. He had uh, forsaken his prayer. We do many times and we end up in destroyed places and in, and in rough situations because we uh, forget to go to God to pray. And as he did, he waited till it was the end instead of going to God to pray in the beginning. And so, and Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might. And the house fell upon the Lord, on the Lord's. Uh, the Lord gave him, allowed him to have his strength back. And he gave him more strength that he may have the power to pull the building down. And he pulled the building down. And he said, you know, he wanted to go on and because his life had been, the structures he had not followed in the true path that he should have and so he decided that he wanted to end his time there but to allow him to die there not to live on and uh continue so the lord allowed him to die with his uh enemies and he as he pulled the house down it is said that he killed more of the philistines at on that day than he had in his entire life and Samson had been uh, their protector, their helper in many situations over a 20-year period. I pray, you know, that we want to be a helper to others. We want to stand in the gap for others. But we want to be mindful that we are watchful of how we handle ourselves and what we do. I pray that you meditate on this lesson and y'all have a blessed day.